Good to see you as well. All right, let's get into story lane. Let me share my screen. All right. So first, want to touch on what are inter interactive demos. These are self-serve demo experiences that can take buyers through the top features and use cases of your product. They're immersive and inter interactive, meaning it's not a passive viewing experience like typical video. Interactive demos keep the demo viewer engaged along every step of the uh, demo, having them drive by clicking or doing text inputs and choosing branching paths. And they can be built with screenshots, H HTML screens, or video clips. And then how do they accelerate a sales cycle? They help consolidate one-to-one -one meetings. Oftentimes there's stakeholders on the buying committee that don't need, uh, they're not looking to book a time for another demo. Um, they're not willing to talk to a seller, but they're still going to be evaluating the software. So rather than having to book another call or, or relying on your champion to uh, communicate all the value propositions you know, verbally to them, they can have an interactive demo asset. So that's the other part of it is champion, champion enablement, giving your champion an, an interactive demo asset they can use to sell your solution to other stakeholders and uh, create that consensus faster to close more deals. So um, thinking about how do we uh, capture uh, your, your product to create these bite-sized interactive product tours, let's go through an example built together and I'll be working from Mercury's banking platform. All right, so looking here, um, I'm gonna open up the Storyline plugin, create no demo, and first I'm gonna do a screenshot and video demo. So after this countdown, Storyline is tracking all my clicks, page transitions, and taking a video file the whole session. So I'm gonna click through my workflow as normal. I'll search a customer account, Google, and then up in the top right, you can see along the way, Sterling is capturing all the different screens. We're up to number five. So I'm gonna fi finish capturing. That's my first workflow. That's gonna take us into the demo builder. First thing we see is a preview. So Sterling automatically sequences the steps, uh, puts in a title card, and then places a hotspot on every click. Now I'm gonna go into the demo builder to edit the content. So you can see on the right hand side, we have our flow builder. So the plugin automatically sequence steps number one through one through nine. And then I can click here and start adding my messaging. So I'm gonna say, uh, welcome to Mercury. And then on step number two, we are clicking in the product. We're already highlighting the home button. I'm going to use our backdrop and spotlight feature to put a vignette around the feature of interest. So now that's highlighted and I'll go to write my messaging. So I'm gonna say homepage and I can use AI Assist to help me generate content faster. So from that short prompt, I can write out a larger guide, decide to rewrite it, and also translate to different languages. And then from here, I have the option to add voiceover or video. So I can go to the add voiceover option. I can record that manually using my own device in the application or generate that using AI. And here's what that sounds like. So that's step number one. We've got the written element, the audio element. One more, uh, one more uh, feature I like to add um, is going to be our track and zoom. It's going to pan in and focus the viewer's attention, but also has that cinematic pull in, pull out effect. Then going to step number three, this is very customizable. I'm going to drag this over to a different feature. I'll swap this out from a hotspot to a tooltip. I'll set my drop shadow. I'll add my messaging by saying money graph. And then I also have the option to add a video segment more of a talking head segment. So I can add video. I'll record this in the application. Hey, here's more information about XYZ feature. Here's what you need to know, blah, blah, blah. So now that's safe to the step. It'll play automatically. Then getting to step number five, you can also add video segments within the within the uh, the workflow. So you can see down here at the bottom, we captured a vi we captured video for the whole session, but Storyline automatically isolated when I had hands-on keyboard typing out the typing out the uh, the customer search Google. So our philosophy around demo assets is that demo viewers today, they want more of the clickable screen-based, um, you know, videos, they, they, clickable screen-based demo experiences. They don't want to passively watch a two to five minute video, but where it makes sense, you can insert a small video clip of a, a type out, a drag and drop, a chatbot responding back to you. So we've got our vi video segment. And then ideally at the end, you want to present that call to action if this is embedded to your marketing website or being sent off as a touch point to help book a call. So I'm going to say ready, to see a personalized demo, question mark. And I'll relabel this call to action button to say book a call and redirect them to our demo booking page. All right, so in a couple of minutes, here's what we built out.
Then we've got the video segment inserted. Then we have the video of the uh, type out happening. And then we're back to the clickable screens. Just need to add messaging here. And then we've got the call to action. So that's a look at the screenshot and video demo. Um, the other format I want to talk about is going to be building with HTML. So two distinct advantages when you build your demo with HTML. And I want to show two customer examples to show the advantage and then walk into what that demo build would look like. So here's an example from our customer Gong. This is more of the marketing use case. They have this embedded to their website. And it's built in HTML, so it's going to be a fully scrollable web page, not just a static screenshot of what was captured on the monitor. And it's going to light up with the same styling and interactivity of the Gong platform. So as I hover these elements, it's going to look and feel like I'm actually in a Gong interface. And then I'm going to you know, go through that guided demo flow by clicking on the elements or the next button. The other benefit of building an HTML is that you can set up a sandbox, sandbox experience. So here's an example from our customer Qubit. If I go to chapter number two, take a spin on your own, I can explore Qubit, more of a non-linear. I don't have to go on the preset click path. I can explore the demo in a trial-like environment. And then go back to the product tour menu if I want to see a, a guided chapter. Now, the other big advantage of, of building an HTML is that you can retroactively edit and adapt the content. So here's an example from uh, Mercury again. This time when I open up the plugin, I'm going to start capturing with HTML. So I'm going to just do one capture screen. Takes about two to three seconds while the plugin is crawling the HTML screen and creating that clone screen back in a story lane. And then once I finish capturing here in the demo builder compared to the screenshot version, we now also have an edit mode. So I can click in here and retroactively change this from 5 million to 500 million. I could relabel line items. I can blur and anonymize data. And then for sales teams, one of the biggest advantages is templatizing your demo environment. So I can click in here and change this from welcome Jane to welcome first name token. Instead of mercury balance, I could swap that out for company name token. So if I send this as a demo leave behind, my prospect can see their name, their business, um, uh, information that's relevant to their to their use case and their industry. And you can also swap in logos. And then I can give them a sandbox to explore or a guided demo flow. So just to show you what that end product would look like, here's an example template. Here's what a salesperson see when they go to spin off a, 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 a demo template to send off to their prospect. So my demo leave behind template, I'm going to spin off a custom link. Let's create one for Jackson at Storylane. I'm gonna tag it to his email so all the analytics flow back into the CRM. And then here's where that salesperson can personalize in a few clicks. So I want first name token to say Jackson. I want company name token to say Storylane. They're a software company, so I want my product underscore one token to say SaaS. And then I send it off to my prospect. One other feature uh, for if you're sending this into you know a buying committee, it's more mid, uh, mid evaluation. We would set up a domain requirement so you can control access and set up expiration dates. So I'm going to say that only people with a matching Storylane.io domain can view the demo. That way, when I send it off to my champion, Jackson, let's say hypothetically, he forwards it to his boss, Nolan. So now Nolan enters in his, the domain requirement and we're getting analytics on when Jackson opens the demo, when his boss, when the VP opens the demo, you can see how the demo asset is circulating around the buying committee and multi-threading for you. So now we're here in the demo environment. You'll notice in the environment itself, we see Welcome Jackson, Storylane Balance, SAS over here on the right-hand side. I can explore a sandbox or I can go through a guided demo flow. And we also have the personalized language in the tooltip. So hi, Jackson, here's a recap of how Storyline can use Mercury. And then from here, Jackson can decide to explore other features. And we're getting analytics on the back end of, okay, did he go through chapter one, chapter three, how much time did he spend in the sandbox too? So if I go into the analytics on the back end, that most recent session is, tall to, is tied to Nolan at Storyline.io. And I can see total time spent in the demo was 25%, and he only made it 27% of the way through. And I can see every step along the way, every click, and total time spent. And it's going to be tied to his record in our HubSpot, um, and there's his, his uh, contact ID. So I think that just about covers it. We we talked about um, embedding this to the website as a marketing conversion point. We talked about capturing with screenshot and video, and then also capturing with dynamic HTML so that you can templatize it and give your sales team a, a sandbox demo environment or a guided demo recap for those sales touches. So I wanted to let the audience at Pavilion know, um, or anybody here for demo day, that um, for Storylane, we do have a custom promotion. Typically, when you go...
with our annual plan, you save uh, 20%, but we have an additional 20% discount on our growth and premium plans for any uh, Pavilion Demo Day attendees. So I'm going to drop in our website. I'll go here to Storylane. We'll drop this in the chat. And then I'll also drop in a meeting link if anybody would like to book a demo directly. And I think that does it. Great, Jackson. One question, um, Maximas. I, I assume a prospect buyer would need to log in somehow to see the resulting file. Is it login required? You're saying a demo viewer or somebody on the team? I'm assuming a prospect. Yeah, a prospect they would not need to to log in. You can if it's if you can set up a secure link for that one to one sales touch if they're a higher value prospect or you want to secure the demo. But um, this can be viewed asynchronously, um, embedded to a website or on that share link. They can view anytime. They don't have to log in. Cool, really cool use case, man. I love that stuff. So excellent work. Um, Storylane.io, correct? Storylane. And, Storylane.io. And obviously have your your uh, calendar link right there. That's awesome, man. Good job. Love it. Thank you.